illegal immigration. It's a big issue for many people, especially during 2024 being an election year. But in states like Montana, it rarely makes headlines. But local law enforcement tells us that they're seeing more and more inmates end up here at the Gallatin County Detention Center who receive ice holds. So oftentimes when we typically we're running into them on some kind of a you know other local crime, whether that's a traffic event or if it's some kind of a, a domestic situation, who knows what it could be. It's during processing where the detention center and deputies get alerted of potential immigration status issues. You recognize that they don't have the driver's license or even if they do, they're not coming up in the system or they'll come up in the system as a... Um, an undocumented individual. So then Homeland Security is contacted and Sheriff Springer says it's up to immigration officials to place a hold on the individual. So what is an ice hold? Well, according to U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, an ice hold or detainer is used when the Department of Homeland Security intends to assume custody of a person from another federal, state or local law enforcement agency. DHS can request that the inmate be detained for up to an additional 40 Eight hours after they would otherwise be released. But what about the local charges that these individuals face? Well, every case is different and there are multiple factors to take into consideration. But Sheriff Springer says that the individual will go through the court system and if they are found guilty on the crime that they've committed in Montana, they will serve their time in Montana. Following their sentence, ICE would be notified and Homeland Security would then take them through their process. Um, we're seeing, you know, a lot, a lot of um, illegal uh, individuals from multiple countries, not just Mexico, but um, certainly seeing plenty of illegals here in Montana and certainly in Bozeman. Sheriff Springer also notes the different services available for those here legally on working visas and companies that hire migrants for work. You know, oftentimes you'll see people talking about they're all illegal. Well, that's not true. Um, there are a lot of people working here on proper visas, proper documentation. In Bozeman, Jane McDonald, MTN News.